Hi, my name is Eric Breimer and I teach in the Computer Science Department. Right now I'm going to show you how I use assignments so that students can actually electronically submit their assignments. In this case the assignment is a pre-lab assignment. So this is the course that I'm teaching this semester where I'm going to use assignments. It's a course in Management Information Systems. And you'll see I've already uh, added a lot of content to the course. And uh, next week the students are going to do the GIS lab. And the GIS lab has a pre-lab that I want to show you. And the students can actually download this pre-lab. And when they download the pre-lab, rather than print it and then uh, submit it to me by hand, they can actually edit the document. So they'll answer these questions. They'll save it electronically. Um, so they might put an answer here. They're going to save it. And then when it comes time to submit the lab, I actually want them to be able to digitally submit it right here. So what um, GIS lab is, it's a content area where I've added some documents. But now I'm actually going to add an assignment. In order to add an assignment, I'm going to come up here to the edit view. And within the edit view, there's a top toolbar when you, where you can add all of the different items. And you can add uh, different learning units. The learning unit that I'm going to add is called an assignment. And after I select assignment, I'm going to click go. And it brings me to the assignment, the add assignment uh, window where I'm going to add the assignment. And I'm going to call this assignment submit prelab because that's what I want them to do. Um, and it's a regular assignment um, that Blackboard can uh, grade. So I'm going to assign it 100 points and I'm going to add instructions. And I said, please submit your GIS pre-lab here. And here, if I wanted to, I could also um, include assignment files. So rather than type the uh, instructions here, if I already had the instructions in a Word document, I could, uh, I could update that. Um, and here's where I can actually, um, I want to make the assignment available. Um, I could track the number of views. And actually, I want to make it, I want to display it. Um, I'm going to display it immediately. Um, but I'm going to close it out after a certain date. And right now, today's the 31st, and hopefully all the students will have it submitted by um, Wednesday, by the next Wednesday, which would be the 6th. So by February 6th, and maybe I'll give them till 5 o'clock. And that looks good to me, and I'm going to click Submit. And now you can see the assignment has been added. So they'll be able to submit their pre-lab. And you can see the instructions are there. Um, and this is really what um, students will see. I'm going to switch back to the display view. Students are going to see this, and they're going to be able to view and complete the assignment. And a student who has um, already completed the assignment, they can send comments to me, and they can attach the pre-lab document that they worked on. So if they go to the desktop, um, you see this is the pre-lab document that I had previously saved. And they can click Submit, and it submits the assignment. Now, what'll, what also happens is down in the control panel, I can go to my gradebook. And you can see in my gradebook, I had an assignment called the All About Me assignment. I also had the intro lab, and uh, you see I have a, a quiz that I'm deploying. But you can see um, Submit Pre-lab. And now this is very interesting because I really should have given it a better name because every week they're going to submit a pre-lab. Um, so actually I can go in and change the name of this. And instead of calling this the pre-lab assignment, I'm going to call this the GIS pre-lab, which is a little bit more descriptive. And I'm going to click Submit. Now as students submit this assignment, uh, next to them in the gradebook, I'm going to be able to see um, if they submitted it. And what will appear is an exclamation point, um, which I can click on, and then I can actually view their assignments. Now I want to show you here, this is another assignment that I had them submit electronically, and I've already graded them. And you can see I was very generous with the grades. Um, it's an assignment where they tell me about themselves, um, so it's pretty much everyone who does it gets an A. You can't get, go wrong. And you can see that um, when I click on an individual grade, I can actually view the student's assignment. I can view what they submitted. And in this case, this student um, submitted the following document. 
Just to summarize, I'm using Blackboard to provide students with the assignment electronically. They're able to individually download it electronically, complete the worksheet, uh, save it, and then they upload it electronically. And what's great about this is that I can collect assignments basically in grade assignments without ever having to uh, print a piece of paper. And that's it.